Hello subscribers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm getting run over by a Mars rover. It's heavier than you think. Julian is currently the one at the camera. Today we are testing this fascinating Mars rover at the aerospace collection of Tio Delft in the Netherlands. Why is it so special and what can it do? We asked Marta, one of the experts and supervisor of the exhibition. Yes, so my name is Marta and I was helping with this educational activity. Today we did a mock-up. This rover is a 1 to 4 replica of the rover Perseverance and that this has been developed for educational purpose. So the idea is that bachelor students can play around with it and see how the rocket boogie mechanism works uh, because then they have a, a project based uh, assignment where they have to develop their own rocket boogie. Um, yeah. What is this rover replica used for principally? Yeah, so exactly, it was mostly used for educational purpose. So the idea is really that students can come down here and play around with it and see how it works. What materials are involved in the construction of this replica? Yes, so uh, most of the parts are 3D printed. Then there are some metal parts, especially in the rocker boogie mechanism. And also the uh, body is made with uh, aluminum profiles. Yep. Uh, maybe you can open the top and you can see how it is inside. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Being around this rover feels very exciting. What strikes me the most is the attention to details for the proportions and the realistic way in which it transverses large obstacles. The real Perseverance is actually slower than today's replica, driving at only 4 cm per second. This performance is considered great, because to cross rough terrains you need a slow speed but high torque wheel like you'd see on a tractor. The real wheels of Perseverance are much larger at 52 cm in diameter, made in aluminum and titanium, and this model accurately demonstrates the rocker boogie system of suspension. Cheese! Work it, girl! Developed in 1988 from the boogies of battle tanks, and it enables a rover to overcome obstacles twice the size of the wheel diameter, also keeping it stable at up to 45 degrees of slope. What makes this replica so faithful to the original is also that all six wheels are motorized. Both front and rear couples have the ability to steer. What does the rocket boogie look like? Beep 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 a good sketch. In addition, we have an actual camera mounted on top of the rover which moves on two axes. A big shout out to Danny's massive Instagram page, The Galactic Greaser, so make sure to check it out. In the real Perseverance, we would find Supercam. Supercam is an array of instruments for searching by signatures left from ancient Martian microbes. In this array of instruments, we can find the laser-induced breakdown spectrometer, which shoots a 7-meter laser beam that turns rocks into plasma. There's also a Raman spectrometer shooting green lasers to identify minerals. We can also find the camera itself, which documents the journey with the help of a microphone. This powerful equipment was developed in collaboration between French, Spanish and American universities. But what is missing from this replica is the front robotic arm, a surface scanning device which most KSP players will be already familiar with. Eventually our curiosity took over, so one after one we lie down to get run over by this little crawler. On 0.4 kilometers per hour. Will he survive? Help. James, how are you feeling? Let's interview our first victim of a Martian roadkill. <laughs> that is incredible. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to go home and there was this man laying in my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. could do that. Yeah. I'm so sorry. It I was feel so Mars. bad. Was... Yeah, Mars hell. Which is just Mars, no? Mm -hmm. Mars is hell. Mm -hmm. Mars is hell. Mm -hmm. Mars is hell. Mars is hell. It was much heavier than we thought. Somewhere around the weight of a bicycle. Now here's a question for you. So this rover weighs 15 kilograms. How much would it weigh on the surface of Mars? Type your result down below. The most accurate gets pinned in the comments. This beta testing experience taught us a lot about the intricate design of Perseverance, while the two Delft University had the chance to test how this workshop can enhance the education of their aerospace engineering students. James, you look like a true Brexit geezer on the, on the POV. I have the rover marks you'd on my, a, on my chest. A, you'd have a, a temporary JP altitude. Someone take this controller away from me before I break it. 